the aircraft mechanic, airframe study guide, aircraft fuel systems. Fuel jettisoning is usually accomplished through a common manifold and outlet in each wing. The primary purpose of an aircraft's fuel jettison system is to quickly achieve a lower landing weight. 1. The fuel jettison valve must be designed to allow flight personnel to close the valve during any part of the jettisoning operation. 2. During the fuel jettisoning operation, the fuel must discharge clear of any part of the airplane. Regarding the above statements, both number 1 and number 2 are true. Which of the following is employed to maintain lateral stability when jettisoning fuel? Two separate independent systems. A fuel jettison system is required under certain conditions if the maximum takeoff weight exceeds the maximum landing weight. What regulations cover the requirements of fuel jettisoning? Federal Aviation Regulation Part 23, 25 and CAM 4B. Fuel is moved overboard in most fuel jettison systems by boost pumps. Fuel jettisoning past the limits prescribed by Federal Aviation Regulations is usually prevented by dump limit valves or a low-level circuit. Which procedure must be followed when refueling aircraft with swept back wings? Defuel the outboard wing tanks first. Refer to figure 17. What is the purpose of the pump crossfeed valve? Allow operation of engines from one tank. Normal fuel crossfeed system operation in multi-engine aircraft. Provides a means to maintain a balanced fuel load condition. How many vents? arranged so that they are not likely to become plugged at the same time, must be used in multi-engine fuel systems, too. What is the primary purpose of the crossfeed system? It allows any tank to supply fuel to any engine. Fuel system components must be bonded and grounded in order to drain off static charges. How many engine-driven fuel pumps per engine are required for engines requiring fuel pumps? One fuel pump for each engine. A typical large transport aircraft fuel manifold system allows how many of the following? One, two, three, and four. A fuel system must be designed to prevent fuel vapor ignition caused by lightning. What is the minimum distance allowed between a fuel tank and the firewall separating the engine? One half inch. Fuel baffles are installed in tanks to prevent caused by changes in the attitude of the aircraft. Surging. Many fuel tanks incorporate valves to prevent fuel from flowing away from the boost pump or tank outlet when the aircraft is in a high G maneuver. Flapper. Fuel heaters are used with fuel systems for turbine engines to prevent in the fuel from clogging system filters. Ice crystals. A transducer in a fuel pressure system serves what function? Converts fluid pressure directly through a transmitter to the indicator. The use of turbine fuels in aircraft has resulted in some problems not normally associated with aviation gasolines. One of these problems is microbial contaminants. What is used in many aircraft to prevent bubbles in the fuel after it leaves the tank when atmospheric pressure is lower than fuel vapor pressure? Boost pumps. Which of the following precautions is most important during refueling operations? Fuel to be used must be appropriately identified. Before fueling an aircraft by using the pressure fueling method, what important precaution should be observed? The truck pump pressure must be correct for that refueling system. What flight safety related advantage does a pressure fueling system provide? Reduces the chances for fuel contamination. Aircraft pressure fueling systems instructional procedures are normally placarded on the fuel control panel access door. Pressure fueling of aircraft is usually accomplished through at least one single point connection. Which of the following may be used for the repair of fuel leaks on most integral fuel tanks? Riveting and resealing. How is the outlet fuel pressure regulated on a submerged, single-speed, centrifugal-type fuel pump? By the pump's design and internal clearances. What one purpose of a fuel tank vent? 
to maintain atmospheric pressure. When inspecting a removable rigid fuel tank for leaks, what procedure should be followed? Pressurize the tank with air and brush with soapy water. If it is necessary to enter an aircraft's fuel tank, which procedure should be avoided? Conduct the defueling and tank purging operation in an air-conditioned building. What is the recommended practice for cleaning a fuel tank before welding? Steam clean the tank interior. An aircraft's integral fuel tank is a part of the aircraft structure. Which gas is used for purging an aircraft fuel tank? Carbon dioxide. Why is the main fuel strainer located at the lowest point in the fuel system? It traps in small amount of water that may be present in the fuel system. The purpose of a diaphragm in a vane type fuel pump is to compensate fuel pressures to altitude changes. When moving the mixture control on a normally operating engine into the idle cutoff position, engine RPM should slightly increase before the engine starts to die. In trained water in aviation turbine fuel is a hazard because of its susceptibility to freezing as it passes through the filters. What are common methods of preventing this hazard? Anti-icing fuel additives and fuel heater. As a general rule, which statement is true regarding fuel leaks? Stains, seeps, and heavy seeps. In addition to running leaks, are considered flight hazards when located in unvented areas of the aircraft. The presence of fuel stains around a fuel nozzle would indicate clogged fuel nozzle. What should be used to inert an integral fuel tank before attempting repairs? CO2 What should be used to remove flux from an aluminum tank after welded repairs? 5% solution of nitric or sulfuric acid. What method would be used to check for internal leakage of a fuel valve without removing the valve from the aircraft? Place the valve in the off position, drain the strainer bowl, and with boost pump on, watch to see if fuel flows to the strainer bowl. Why are jet fuels more susceptible to water contamination than aviation gasoline? Jet fuel has a higher viscosity than gasoline. When installing a rigid fuel line, one half inch in diameter. At what intervals should the line be supported? 16 inches. The probe of a capacitance type fuel level gauge is essentially a capacitor with fuel and air acting as a dielectric. Which statement concerning an electronic capacitance type fuel quantity indicating system is true? It has no moving parts in the tank. What type of remote reading fuel quantity indicating system has several probes installed in each fuel tank? Electronic. Which aircraft fuel quantity indicating system incorporates a signal amplifier? Electronic. A drip gauge may be used to measure the amount of fuel in the tank. The electronic type fuel quantity indicating system consists of a bridge circuit an amplifier, an indicator, and a tank unit. A probe or a series of probes is used in what kind of fuel quantity indicating system? Capacitor. Why is the capacitance fluid quantity indicating system more accurate in measuring fuel level than a mechanical type? It measures by weight instead of volume. One advantage of electrical and electronic fuel quantity indicating systems is that Several fuel tank levels can be read on one indicator. A fuel totalizer is a component which indicates the amount of fuel in all tanks. A digital fuel totalizer automatically indicates the amount of fuel used, fuel remaining, current rate of consumption, and fuel. Weight, aboard at takeoff. What is the dielectric, non-conducting material, in a capacitance type fuel quantity indicating system? Fuel and air in the tank. A capacitance type fuel quantity indicating system measures fuel in pounds. What are the four general types of fuel quantity gauges? 1. Sight glass. Mechanical. Electrical. Electronic. Borden tube. Vane type transmitter. Litmus indicator. Direct reading static pressure type. 1, 2, 3, 4. 
How does temperature affect fuel weight? Cold fuel is heavier per gallon. One advantage of electrical and electronic fuel quantity indicating systems is that the indicator can be located any distance from the tanks. When fuel quantity is measured in pounds instead of gallons, the measurement will be more accurate because fuel volume varies with temperature change. An electrical type fuel quantity indicating system consists of an indicator in the cockpit and a float in the tank that moves a connecting arm to the wiper on a variable resistor in the tank. What is the purpose of a float operated transmitter installed in a fuel tank? It sends an electric signal to the fuel quantity indicator. In an electronic type fuel quantity indicating system, the tank sensing unit is a capacitor. What must each fuel quantity indicator be calibrated to read during level flight when the quantity of fuel remaining is equal to the unusable fuel supply? Zero. What unit would be adjusted to change the fuel pressure warning limits? Pressure sensitive mechanism. Select means of controlling the fuel temperature on turbine powered aircraft. Engine bleed air to a heat exchanger. What is the purpose of flapper type check valves in integral fuel tanks? To prevent fuel from flowing away from the boost pumps. What unit is generally used to actuate the fuel pressure warning system? Pressure sensitive mechanism. What method is used on turbine powered aircraft to determine when the condition of the fuel is approaching the danger of forming ice crystals? Fuel temperature indicator. Which of the following would give the first positive indication that a changeover from one fuel tank to another is needed? Fuel pressure warning. A fuel pressure warning switch contacts close and warning light is turned on when the fuel pressure drops below specified limits. A transmitter in a fuel pressure warning system serves what function? Converts fluid pressure to an electrical signal. Where is fuel pressure taken for the pressure warning signal on most aircraft engines? Fuel pressure line of the carburetor. Which of the following is necessary to effectively troubleshoot a fuel pressure warning system? The manufacturer's maintenance manuals. Which of the following would be most useful to locate and troubleshoot an internal fuel leak in an aircraft fuel system? Maintenance manual diagrams and descriptions. In some aircraft with several fuel tanks, the possible danger of allowing the fuel supply in one tank to become exhausted before the selector valve is switched to another tank is prevented by the installation of a fuel pressure warning signal system. 1. The function of a fuel heater is to protect the engine fuel system from ice formation. 2. An aircraft fuel heater cannot be used to thaw ice in the fuel screen. Regarding the above statements, only number one is true. 1. Gas turbine engine fuel systems are very susceptible to the formation of ice in the fuel filters. 2. A fuel heater operates as a heat exchanger to warm the fuel. Regarding the above statements, both number one and number two are true. 1. A fuel heater can use engine bleed air as a source of heat. 2. A fuel heater can use engine lubricating oil as a source of heat. Regarding the above statements, both number one and number two are true. 1. A fuel pressure gauge is a differential pressure indicator. 2. A fuel pressure gauge indicates the pressure of the fuel entering the carburetor. Regarding the above statements, both number one and number two are true. 1. A fuel pressure relief valve is required on an aircraft positive displacement fuel pump. 2. A fuel pressure relief valve is required on an aircraft centrifugal fuel boost pump. Regarding the above statements, only number one is true. The primary purpose of a fuel tank sump is to provide a place for contaminants and water to settle, with a drain valve to remove the impurities. Why are integral fuel tanks used in many large aircraft? To reduce weight. When an aircraft is fueled from a truck or fuel farm that has not been contaminated, daily draining 
of strainers and sumps is combined with periodic filter changes and inspection to ensure fuel is contaminant-free. When defueling an aircraft, which of the following must be accomplished? Always defuel outside the hangar. Integral fuel tanks on transport aircraft are supported by the aircraft structure. What precautions must be observed if a gravity feed fuel system is permitted to supply fuel to an engine from more than one tank at a time? The tank air spaces must be interconnected. The purpose of the baffle plate in a fuel tank is to resist fuel surging within the fuel tank. What markings must be placed on or near each appropriate fuel filler cover on standard category aircraft? The word AVGAS and minimum fuel grade. What is one disadvantage of using aromatic aviation fuels? Deteriorates rubber parts. Fuel boost pumps are operated to provide a positive flow of fuel to the engine. Flapper valves are used in fuel tanks too. Act as check valves. Why are centrifugal type boost pumps used in fuel systems of aircraft operating at high altitude? To supply fuel under pressure to engine driven pumps. Why is it necessary to vent all aircraft fuel tanks? To limit pressure differential between the tank and atmosphere. According to Part 23, what minimum required markings must be placed at or near each appropriate fuel filler cover for reciprocating engine-powered airplanes? The word AVGAS and the minimum fuel grade. The location of leaks and defects within the internal portions of the fuel system can usually be determined by observing the pressure gauge and operating the selector valves. What type of fuel booster pump requires a pressure relief valve? Sliding vane. To prevent vapor lock in fuel lines at high altitude, some aircraft are equipped with booster pumps. Some turbine-powered aircraft have a fuel temperature indicator located in the cockpit to monitor the fuel temperature during high-altitude flight. When inspecting a fuel system, you should check all valves located downstream of boost pumps with the pumps. Operating the type of fuel boost pump that separates air and vapor from the fuel before it enters the line to the carburetor is the centrifugal type pump. 1. On a large aircraft pressure refueling system. A pressure refueling receptacle and control panel will permit one person to fuel or defuel any or all fuel tanks of an aircraft. 2. Because of the fuel tank area. There are more advantages to a pressure fueling system in light aircraft. Regarding the above statements, only number one is true. When routing a fuel line between two rigidly mounted fittings the line should have at least one bend between such fittings. 1. If aviation gasoline vaporizes too readily, fuel lines may become filled with vapor and cause increased fuel flow. 2. A measure of a gasoline's tendency to vapor lock is obtained from the Reed Vapor Pressure Test. Regarding the above statements, only number two is true. Microbial growth is produced by various forms of microorganisms that live and multiply in the water interfaces of jet fuels. Which of the following could result if microbial growth exists in a jet fuel tank and is not corrected? 1, 2, 3. The vapor pressure of aviation gasoline is lower than vapor pressure of automotive gasoline. What can be done to eliminate or minimize the microbial growth problem in an aircraft jet fuel tank? Use anti-icing and antibacterial additives. What is the maximum vapor pressure allowable for an aircraft fuel? 7 PSI. If a bladder type fuel tank is to be left empty for an extended period of time, the inside of the tank should be coated with a film of engine oil. How many the anti-knock characteristics of a fuel be improved? By adding a knock inhibitor.